We used to think of the steroid era as the heyday of home run hitting, but our mental image of a juiced up behemoth crushing the ball needs updating. This year is poised to easily be the most homer happy on record, and not because of altered player physiques, but rather thanks to physical alterations to certain batches of baseballs that make them fly more freely through the air. What's more, recent data shows that these less air-resistant balls probably make up a larger share of all MLB balls today than they did even earlier this season, meaning the game is now consistently being played with a ball that travels farther than usual. MLB has denied making any intentional changes to the baseball, noting that testing finds the baseball still within established standards. But those specifications are extremely wide, allowing for massive variation in fly ball distance and corresponding shifts in home run rates. If MLB only rejects balls when they lie outside of the standards, there could be wild differences in air resistance between pairs of baseballs. And we can measure how much air resistance is exerted on a given ball using MLB's pitch tracking system. By measuring the loss in velocity from a pitcher's hand to home plate, I calculated the drag coefficient of each pitch thrown in baseball since 2008. Drops in air resistance coincided with jumps in home runs, with drag especially falling for the average pitch this year. My study and a follow-up have demonstrated that this reduced drag could be to blame for some of MLB's recent home run surge. Large variations in drag between different batches of baseballs used to be commonplace. I found that individual baseballs could differ by 20 or 30 feet of fly ball carry, more than enough to turn a harmless fly ball into a deep bomb. And my pitch tracked measure of air resistance fluctuated wildly from month to month over the period from 2008 to 2015. These variations could really wreak havoc on individual players' stats, just ask reliever Jake McGee, who had his best numbers in 2014 while throwing the highest drag pitches in the league one, and his worst stats two years later, when the air resistance on his average fly ball dropped, but they also meant that neither hitters nor pitchers were locked into using a given type of ball on a given night. Lately, though, the baseballs have become a lot more consistent. The standard deviation, a measure of variation, in drag coefficient between individual baseballs has dropped drastically in the last few years. Point two.